in this interesting episode we are talking about the following interesting thing guys Eric Tinkler says there's no team in the PSL that can match Mamelo Sundowns financially and so that's the reason perhaps they're going to dominate the league and they will do it for a longest time because so far nobody can match them financially so they are able to buy and attract players of their choice and they can actually get the best players so when I saw that from kickoff.com and I was like uh, uh, how true is that? That nobody can match them financially. Is it true or false? You know what? If you want to know more about that, stick around. To those that will stick around, because if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, guys, it is free of charge. Now, back to the video, guys. Hey, good people. News are saying there's no team in the PSL that can match Mamelo Sundowns financially so then I'm like uh, I does Sundowns have money or Mutsipe Petrus Mutsipe has money the owner of Sundowns okay what that's one question because it's another thing for a business to have money but it's also another thing for the owner of the business to have money Remember that the business can also be the business does pay the owner itself himself or herself now um, So you're looking at that or Petrus Mozepe decided to take his monies and Invest them in soccer. So the monies that Petrus Mozepe invested in soccer They are big enough that they that the other teams can match them Then this is where then cars chips come in. This is where Olona Pirate comes in Cause achieve the number one world sponsored club in the team in the, in the PSL. Do you mean to tell me that with their all sponsors combined, apart from Cause achieve the brand, the money that they the revenue that they have, the club the club itself, the money that it, it has, apart from that, do you mean that the sponsors can't match Mamelo Sanders? Look at the type of sponsors they have. Yes, yes, I agree. When it comes to sponsorship. You can't say just because Toyota is a multi-billionaire, if not multi-trillion uh, company. But then you can't take that and equate to the money that they, they give car chips. No, just because they're supposed to have car chips. But all I'm saying is, what I know, or from what I know, is that when, 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 car, when, 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 when car chips signed with Toyota, I know for a fact that it was a multi-million deal sponsorship. Then there is the likes of Vodacom. How much are they injecting to this club? Then there is the likes of Holland. How much are they injecting to this club? Then there is the likes of the other sponsors that are not that big, but they are there. There are so many sponsors there. You go to all of the parade. They have, um, they have, they have Vodacom. How much are they getting from Vodacom? They have just introduced this new phone, what, what company that is sponsoring them. I forgot the name of this brand. How much are they getting there? I think they are also sponsored by uh, Acer, the, the name for your laptops. How much are they getting there? And there are so much brands that sponsor these teams. Né? You ask a question of how much are they injecting to these teams that they can't match sundowns. I, I want to believe it, but I don't want to believe it. I want to believe the fact that, yes, uh, the Sundowns have money. But I also don't want to believe that Carter Chiefs and Pirate, particularly, can't match them. I am struggling to believe that. You know what I'm saying? I'm seriously struggling to mention that, to, to, to think around, around those lines. Now, it then leads me to this point as well. Real AM. Real AM has been known as one of those clubs that spends money like nobody's business. And they've portrayed themselves as people who have money. You could see going into the pitch, distributing money, and you ask yourself a question of, is it really true that uh, they don't have money that they can make standards? Because Mom Kiza as well, she's one of those money women. You understand what I'm saying? And I just don't know what type of businesses does she own. I heard that she's got a construction company. But is the construction company enough 
to uh, you know how big is the construction company before we can look up look up look at the fact that is the money that she's making of the out of that construction company is enough for it to you know generate the revenue that is needed that's a that's a that's a whole different ball game altogether okay mom kids are we saying maybe she's willing to inject money into the club so you ask yourself a question of so she doesn't have money enough to at least come close to Mtsipe, not to match Mtsipe, but at least come close to Mtsipe because she has portrayed herself as one of these moneyed women, one of these moneyed family. So you ask yourself, sorry, so you ask yourself a question of, she doesn't have money as well to match sandals. I, I don't know guys if you get what I'm saying, but the main object here or the su subject, not object, the main subject here is Carter Chiefs and Orlando Pirate to say, you guys, the, the, the monies that we have made over the years, the monies that have been made by the club over the years, together with the monies that are being injected by sponsors, you mean to tell me that you cannot mesh sandals? You mean to tell me that all the sponsors are injecting less money or there is greediness involved in it that makes you not want to inject that amount I, I, it's a question that i have when i saw the article from uh, kickoff.com and the, the which 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 was actually a translation of the conversation of uh, from eric tinkler so it makes me wonder and eric tinkler says that because of that sandals will continue to dominate the league because of that then i was like hmm how true is that? But I know that I'm talking to knowledgeable people. People who know facts. People who have got a, an educated opinion. The only way for me to find out if you know what I don't know, it is for you to get into the comment section below and tell me what I don't know that I need to know. Balance me. Tell me why is it that this team, having been so well sponsored, they can't make sandals. And if you notice, by the way, Sandals does not have much sponsors like them. So it, it makes me wonder, or maybe it is because Petrus Mzipe, his clothes is politically connected. He owns the likes of companies like your Rain, like your Time Bank, like your Mines. Maybe because of all of that wealthy combined, together with the fact that he is a member of the ANC, it gives him a lot of uh, political advantage. Maybe it is because of that, I just don't know. You might know better than I. The only way to know what you think or what you know, not what you think, it is for you to get into the comment section below. Let the conversation begin right now, right here.